Hey everybody, it's Kevin again, and in this video we're going to have a look at the QNEO, the new MPE software editor, and we're going to team it up with Ableton Live to test out some MPE patches, and through the MPE software we'll have a look at control surface mapping, fine tuning our MPE controls, and setting different scale modes. For a thorough video on setup and configuration, check the link in the description and we'll link to both the QNEO MPE manual and also a video of the installation guide. I'm going to start with a simple wavetable patch. I'll show you how to select the scale modes both from the QNEO MPE editor uh, and from the hardware itself. From this editor, it's pretty easy to pick any scale of your choosing along with the root. pretty convenient that it also switches the root note of what your first pad lands on. You can also do this from the unit through the rhombus button. So if you hold the rhombus button and select up, you'll notice you can select the different roots. And if you hold the rhombus button and tap down, you can see the different scale modes accessible. I'll stay on C minor for this example. While we're here, let's set up our pitch bend range as well. Because it's set up for 12 steps from the editor, we'll also mirror that in the MPE matrix tab. As long as it's compatible, if we go 12 steps there and 12 steps there, so now you can set it uh, a range of something like a, a semitone. Or an octave. All from using the slider underneath the pads. Here's a quick wavetable example you might like. I'm gonna use wavetable and sample my vo own voice saying something like check one, two, check one, two and we'll quickly crop that and use that as our custom wavetable. If I drag that over the wavetable, we can now try to make it talk. I'll just want to assign my slide to the oscillator position. You can see by setting the oscillator position amount, I can decide where I want to end. We'll set that up with the same 12 steps for our note pitch bend and see if we can do. Here's that patch that we introed with. You can also find more of this if you follow our YouTube channel and find the QNexus with pigments MPE video. But for me, it's a great patch to practice and uh, fine tune my MPE pitch bends. And I'll use that to show you some of the settings that I think are important to fine tune and uh, look closer at. So with a patch like this, I thought it would be great to demonstrate the use of the pitch bend range, how we can tune in its curve um, and its dead spot. I'm going to set my pitch bend to 12 steps or a full octave. And just demonstrating getting to the top of the range, the minimum or the maximum isn't so much a problem. But getting back into the center without any, any assistance of snapping. It can be tricky to find that C in the middle there. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll increase the dead spot. And show how that really helps. You can also weight the options of how it might curve to the outer edges. Really, you can set it like switches. So that gives a lot of range and a lot of tuning that you might change from performance or patch to patch, or depending on if you're doing a whole tone, 
uh, or an octave. So we'll try that with uh, two steps. I'll use a bit of the curve, but with a smaller dead spot. There's my personal preference, uh, a setting where I can do vibratos in the middle with some assistance in the snapback to center, but also I can achieve the uh, pitch bends up a semitone or up an octave if I want. Here I've brought back a patch from a previous video. that I thought we'd use to explore the control surface mapping areas of the MPE editor. I thought this was really cool because it gives us bankable controls of our eight faders uh, and our two rotor encoders and we have different banks for each of the faders at the top um, and for the encoders and the four grouped together at the bottom. To go through the banks you can find the buttons there which will bank through four different banks of the bottom sliders as well as the encoders you can use the rhombus. The colors also show and give you a representation so when the LED is off you know you're in the first bank but also the four faders uh, at the top have different bankings per fader. And if I show you in the pull down menu what's also really cool is that you have a lot of the Ableton features that you would expect your sends, your device controls, uh, but you can also um, assign to different things you might still need like the master mod wheel, so MIDI CCs are in the mix. In the case of the device controls, I'll just show in your plugins, if you don't have control over the devices you need, just click configure and start moving the knobs away and they will populate. And You'll know which device you're controlling by just clicking on it, so this blue hand shows that I'm in control of the OBE. Ableton Live takes it another step by giving us controls with the macro controls. So when you group something into a group like this, you can do that by going control G when you double select two items. But when you group something, you'll get these macro controls here where you can assign different parameters within your chain. So not just on the OBE and its parameters, things like to a MIDI effect or an effect that might be after the instrument. So I have arpeggiator hold and sync there, the amount of transposition steps and some ARP features. But it looks like I also on my fourth macro have uh, something assigned to the effects of the OBE. If I take you to the effects section you can see that's the dry wet mix of my delay and my reverb. Let's give this a test drive. I'll try to make use of slide and pressure. We'll definitely use the arpeggiator here. Try to use some device controls. Maybe even tone up our pitch bend range to a full octave. See if we can do a nice uh, pitch pitch drop. For my final idea, I thought it'd be interesting to use two OBE8 voices to create a 16 voice using Ableton racks. You'll see notice the arpeggiator is being used on the bottom octave and the, on the top octave is free to play a uh, little melody. I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you on the next video.